I'm Sarah, this is Chris, and we're from Spiritual Acceleration, and we're super excited to be bringing to you a clearing around ET interference. So this is going to be happening on Saturday, the 6th of January for you, Chris, in the UK. Do you want to just mention your time zones? Yes. So in the UK, this will be at 8 p.m., and mm -hmm. in the States, this will be 3 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, and for everybody in Australia, it will be Sunday, the 7th of January at 6 a.m. Another early start, I know, but I promise it will be worth it. So, Chris, do you want to go through a little bit about ET interference and what that involves, what's included? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So, as many of you know, not all of your past lives are on Earth. Sometimes we've had past lives all over the place, other galaxies and universes as different kinds of beings it can be quite a variety and the interesting thing about that is that energy carries forward with us particularly things that aren't resolved and those connections carry forward too so some of your connections and sort of star family and the beings that you were incarnating with in those past for us their extraterrestrial lifetimes but they're just beings are still alive and sometimes those relationships are good and helpful and sometimes they don't really fit with your human sort of energy system now and sometimes the relationships are bad they have unfinished business and there may be beings from those lifetimes that are still interacting with you in ways that we actually want to stop and clean up so some of the past life et wounding can often carry over ets can often also put things in like trackers and implants into our energy system because they want to either influence us or kind of just monitor human life as a sort of data source and these are things we want to remove because they're, they're kind of an impediment to your natural energy system there's a whole side to ets that's really cool lots of great beings and some of them we're going to invite into the clearing like the hathors and the pleiadians but sarah why don't you tell us a bit about the et races that are really cool to hang out with from the perspective of energy clearing yeah, so well, I particularly work a lot with the Pleiadians, the Andromedans, the Arcturians. They have amazing technology and there's a real desire to help humanity evolve. And part of that is clearing out all of the frequencies that are either not aligned to us on this planet, all of the off-planet karma. You know, we have, it's like our past life clearing. This is clearing aspects of our galactic selves that just needs to be removed. And also too, the pieces that, you know, have, followed us or are seeking some sort of you know interaction or connection based on past life past off planet experiences so we're removing all of the implants the devices the mechanisms that are held or lodged within our body that we're carrying all that has been placed in us so i find these frequencies or these implants devices whatever they are they hold the frequency or they keep that resonance embedded in our being which keeps us stuck or limited so we remove that, we remove those implants and it creates more freedom within ourselves, more room for us to be our authentic self and the technology that these these beings and, and I think I've had the dolphin tribe show up once as well. So that was really awesome. You just, like, it's unlimited. The species that are out there, the technology that's available. So it's sort of, again, reduces the stigma of this being negative or bad. It's opening up our world. It's opening up our dimensions to the support and the resources that are available and just helps us further deeper into our clearing. Yeah, it's really big. It's a really, it's a tremendous shift. And, and also we look, I forgot to mention, we also look at energetics like wormholes, black holes and voids in this sort of general topic area, which is things that can happen in our energy system that sort of make us more porous for intergalactic visitors and yeah. leave a sort of space in the system for other things to get into. So we address all of that in this kind of side of the work. And it's it creates a huge shift. And, and I should say that Sarah and I are offering these clearings as sort of an introduction to the foundation's energy clearing techniques. So if you want to feel what clearing just ET interference is from the energy system, you'll have a chance to feel that and to get a sense of the energetics that are involved as well as the beings that sort of we're working with as part of that training that's part of the foundations. And Sarah and I are so excited to present the foundations in 2024. We're going to be teaching in two different time zones. And uh, I'll be teaching for the UK, US sort of time zone. And Sarah is going to be teaching for, you know, her side of the world, which is a totally different 
So it will be it will be more easier for people finally on that side of the world to take the class. Yes. Um, and this is a great way of getting a sense of those energetics, even just for for tracking. It's a really nice thing. But we're going to be doing a big clearing, and we're so excited to see you there. Yes. Jump on, book your tickets, and we'll see you there.